The new single is called Plur Genocide, Carnage, and uh, <laughs> what, up? what is up, Method Mo here, not with a reaction or funny video. Today we're gonna to be talking about a little bit of a discussion point. I was browsing Twitter today and I saw this tweet right here. We got DJ Carnage's premiere electronic single from his new album. It's titled Plur Genocide with Steve Aoki featuring some rapper called Lockdown. I'm gonna set up you find it before I get into this. This title is very insensitive, and I'll explain that it's actually bad titling, period. But let's just talk why it's insensitive first. Last week, 17 kids were shot and killed. And to necessarily call upon the cleansing of a peaceful organization such as Plur. Can you see how that's kind of insensitive? Considering the times to call for that cleansing. My issue is not with Sivioki. He has no say in this. He definitely just hopped on it. He, he doesn't know the consequences of having Sonic this out, how immature it is. He's too busy trying to be, still maintain his top 10 popularity, top five popularity. But on the other hand, Carnage, you're obviously angry that when you go to a show and you get on the festival set, people start getting angry, people start leaving because they don't like your music, right? Don't like your sets, don't like your energy. And that somehow to you makes it seem like it's okay to call to get rid of this whole subculture that's been along that's been around longer than, I would say 90% of people in the EDM scene today. Plur has been around since the 90s, right? Like Chicago, UK, like back when it was just underground shit. But what you don't understand is yes, people are leaving your sets, people are getting angry at you, but the same thing happens, but the same thing happens when people come to see you at a festival you finish your set, Cascade, Eric Prides, all great performers, the best, the best DJs, best producers, period, come up, and your fans either leave, complain, and bash them on social media, or they bring the different energy that has nothing to do with those sets. So that's just straight up stupid to call it plur genocide just just for that sense because you're angry that people don't because <clears throat> you're angry that people don't like your music and you don't even though those people don't necessarily even have to like your music you can just gain your own following i mean obviously and i get how you can kind of say screw the old guard let's go to the new stuff today the sort of situation where EDM and hip hop, I would say hip hop's higher at this point now. Basically EDM and hip hop, rural pop, rural music, rural commercial music, and you feel like you're in a position today because you're popular. And especially your niche of SoundCloud rap, Florida, A Atlanta rap with EDM. It's a very popular niche right now. You can say, fuck all the old style, all the old ways. That stuff has no business today. And I get that, that sentiment's very big in hip hop, which is part of what you're about. But at the same time, your peers that are silly in hip hop aren't bashing old hip hop heads. Like you don't see Lil Pump, you don't see 
Mac Miller. You don't see Young Thug saying fuck NWA. You don't hear them say, they don't say Pusha T is trash, throw them in the dumpster because what they've done is great and what you're going to do is great. And everyone can exist in the sphere. But when you just make this polarizing title saying we don't have any business of having what has EDM has been to some degree for the past 30 years before there was even EDM to say we don't need him that anymore it's pretty insens it's it's insensitive it's it's stupid it's going to make more people hate you than like you i think at the end of the day encourage people to be mean towards people that just probably just want to do drugs and have a good time same thing with your guys except they want to you know mosh and have a higher energy but still have a good time listen to music probably take drugs so i don't think that this is smart on your end to have this song and then i'm going to tell you why this is a bad idea this is a very dumb idea especially this is a bad part on dj carnage's part bad part stevie Oki's part and really bad on ultra i don't know why ultra did this if they know anything about pr but last year we had a very very bad shooting at a country festival do you think that something like that cannot happen at an edm festival and you know what song they might blame what song they might look at they might get some bad pr and some hate when there's a potential for a terrible tragedy to happen in our community they're not going to be happy that the song exists and i know the you know the mainstream media is not going to be happy either so maybe i'm taking this a little too seriously especially haven't heard the song yet but you really shouldn't have named the extinguishing of an entire subculture of edm for clicks the only way i see this working is if this is like one of those titles where it's just some ridiculous thing you say at the drop sort of like unicorn apocalypse or tsunami just some shit you yell out one two three four plural genocide i don't know it doesn't have a much of a ring to it or it's a, just a funny skit that's sort of like knife party does sometimes i'm doubt it's gonna be either so i mean i'm looking forward to listening to it i'll probably wait for the whole album to come out so i can get a better picture of Carnage's plan going into the rest of 2018. I'm curious what you guys think about this name. Comment below if you think that it is insensitive or, you know, something we can't take too seriously. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Now she says